What is up, guys? It's a hell of a day. How you feel, baby? I feel fine. I know it's gonna hit me later, though. Wait, what are you talking about? Are we talking about the same thing? It is 7 16 a.m. We haven't been to sleep yet at all. I don't know if y'all could tell. Look at these circles under my eyes. We're up this early because, first of all, our sleeping schedule is just very, it's, very bad right now. It's horrible, yeah. But today I have a doctor's appointment at 7 <laughs> 45. And that's why we're up. I told him he could go to sleep and I could just take myself. I mean, I feel like we feel fine right now. Like, we're not, I'm not tired at all. Yeah. We've been up since yesterday, but I feel fine. But I know it's gonna hit us like midday. So, what our plan is for today is to obviously go to my doctor's appointment. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go get breakfast after that. And then after that, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> now we got the whole day ahead of us. But I'm like, oh my God, what are we yeah, gonna do? Yeah, facts. Because I do wanna fix our schedule. So, I, feel I like do this too, is yeah. Perfect for us to like put us back on track. So, like, try to stay up for the whole day so that by the time night comes, we're yeah. gonna go to bed at a decent time. Well, we are going to the movies at oh, five sure. o'clock. I forgot about that. We can't go to sleep. So, you better not fall asleep. I'm not. <laughs> He be falling asleep in the movie theaters all the time, Bro. Even, <laughs> even when he had a full night to rest. I'm gonna be doped up off. Uh, We're going to a nice movie theater too. Other than you that, like, bro, leave me alone, man. Y'all, I'm gonna alone. be so mad. Practically all today, we're just gonna try to stay up, or how? Yeah. Is, or are you gonna take a nap before? Like, I really am not a napper. Like, it's that. actually a health. It's a very healthy habit. <laughs> I just be up. Swear, I really feel like I'm a diagnosed. I'm not diagnosed, but I feel like I should be. Yeah, but when I you do go to sleep, sleep you well, sleep. Of course. Anyways, <laughs> you already cranky. <laughs> you irritating me. We gotta get going because my appointment's at 745. It's gonna be lit though. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be a bad day. I already <laughs> feel it. I just found two Red Bulls. You want one? I didn't drink that crap. Why? I'm gonna get a heart palpitation and die. Okay. More for me. You guys, I don't know why, but as I'm drinking this Red Bull, I'm just thinking of ways to spice up this vlog. I don't want to make this video a prank video. I still want it to just be a vlog. What it'd be like if I just catch her reaction to me saying off the wall you know, just throw it in every now and then. So yeah, I'm gonna probably be doing that on and off just to tick her off even more. Let's just see how this goes. Baby, so <laughs> what's the verdict on the new Scissor album? What you think? It's hard, right? Yeah, I like it. Why are you so grumpy? <laughs> I am grumpy. Uh, well, but pipe down. I don't like your attitude. I think it's annoying right now. Don't call me annoying right now. I will punch you in your head. <laughs> I'm just joking. The freak. But wipe that face off your face. Wipe your face off your face. Matter of fact, shut up. You're giving me a headache. I'm just asking you, how do you feel about the SZA album? She put on for the ladies, no cap. Bring lover girls back. Infectious disease associates. Is that where you going, baby? Don't play with me. But that's weird that it's right next to the doctor. You sure you shouldn't just go in there? Should I? Mm, don't ask me. Clap, 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 clap. If I do have that, it's from you. You're insulting yourself. I'm just joking. Ah! He's about to hit us. Did you see that? Look at him. He don't know how to get out. I'm gonna just move. Oh, He's bro. just struggling, baby. What is wrong <laughs> with him? Literally almost hit us like three times. You're just chilling and <laughs> smiling like everything's fine. Like, what the freak? He wanna have the nerve to look at us like that. I'll get out this car right now. <laughs> He just, just gave us the dirtiest look ever. I Bro, thought he was gonna say thank you. What the freak is wrong with people? Like what? He tweaking. He better chill for my baby. Whoop that. This stop playing. Better not make me mad either. <laughs> he be playing with me. He be playing with you, baby. Yes. He, he don't need to stop be playing with you, bro. Medicine, knowing I need to take it for the rest of my life. Like you know, I need to. It's okay, permanent. I haven't, I haven't been here in over a year though. <laughs> but still. Like, well, right after you get out of here, just make sure you go like in a disease place. Definitely gotta go in a disease place. Make sure everything is okay, like good down there. My ears are like hurting. Why? Maybe I have a disease. Is it cause, is it cause you keep randomly screaming at everybody for no reason? Who, who is everybody I'm screaming, screaming at? The guy who at almost that, hit us? Screaming at that, at that kind white man. I think that's my doctor. That's your doctor? <laughs> I was gonna beat his. Does he have a gun on him? Why are you holding this thing like he's that? He's sucking his shirt in. Wish me luck. All right, wipe that ugly face off your face before you walk in there, baby. I don't got an ugly face, stupid. <laughs> Usually when she comes to her doctors, I just gotta sit in the car because they don't let additional people in there. I'ma pretty much just be sitting right here. I might go do something while she inside. I might go play like bowling or something. Breakfast, bowling. All I know is I'm not going to sleep. It's been a tough few days, guys. As you guys see, we did fail Vlogmas. A lot of you guys were waiting on a big announcement, but we made our announcement. Our announcement was our new clothing launch. It's a big deal for us because we haven't released a clothing launch in what, like a year? It's been like a year and a half since our last uh, clothing release, our Fallen Angels clothing release. We were super excited about that and you know we were really excited to tell you guys for two days straight we were prioritizing like inventory and stuff like that it's not an excuse for us to you know miss vlogmas but we missed playing time and before we knew it it was just too late and it was like damn bro can't even freaking film a video tonight it sucked of course we're still gonna continue to give you guys videos this month it's not gonna be the full 25 videos of course because we already missed three days <laughs> 
practice. Damn, man. I don't know, because I feel like we've been working super hard. No sleep. We did significantly better than our first time doing vlogmas. So, I mean, I'm kind of proud about that. I'm not even going to take it as an L and say we failed. Because I still want to try to get out 25 videos this month. Even if we have to do double uploads on some days. That's my goal that's what i would like to do the closer we get to christmas it gets a little hectic we're still gonna continue to push through and hazel uploaded like four videos on her personal channel alone on top of us trying to manage vlogmas between hazel's personal channel and our couple's channel together we posted a total of 15 videos this month so far and we're only 14 days in that's an applause to us i'm extremely tired i don't i honestly don't even know how i'm gonna get through the day bro i'm debating on if we should vlog the rest of the day i don't know i don't know i guess we'll just see how life pans out i guess i'm gonna just wait out here and chill until she gets out of her doctor's appointment she just texted me and said there's so many people in there this man be booked up she need a new doctor because this man is too popular way too popular stop being popular doctor tweaking being all popular in your doctor's office boy the more you mess around the more you gonna find out little boy don't y'all hate people that chew like this you smacking loud as hell in my ear boy why do i feel like this video just quickly turned into like a non-edible mukbang <laughs> Crazy that this is my career. Just running off no sleep, drinking Red Bull, talking about people chewing gum loud. <laughs> In middle school, my teachers always told me to find a real job. <laughs> Yo, that is crazy. It's crazy how life turns out. That was the best doctor's appointment I ever had. As you can see, I'm extremely happy. My whole mood got turned around. Thought I was gonna be back. I feel like I always had bad experiences with doctors mm. and hospitals and stuff. He's always been nice to me, but I didn't even have to pay for nothing. You about to get an eight thousand million dollar bill in the mail. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> and he's like, your labs look good, so we don't need to do blood today. He's like, I'll prescribe you your medicine. He's gonna give it to me. Guess for how long? Two years. A year. That's good. This is the That's longest good. I got prescribed my medicine. So I was like, oh my god, thank you so much, cause y'all like getting my medicine for some reason yeah. is always such a struggle. Like. This the medicine I have to take every single day for the rest of my life. I only get it for like a month or two at a time and then like I have to schedule an appointment. I end up like going long periods of time without my medicine. So it's always been like so annoying to deal with. You know what's so, crazy? They don't even know that you take medicine. I just realized that like- I feel like I mentioned it. If yeah. you guys don't know why, if y'all want a separate <laughs> story time or whatever, like let us know. I think that'd be an interesting so, video. yeah, he prescribed me my medicine for a year. I was like, oh my Turn God, like up, no one's bro. ever- Y'all, I've been having to take this medicine since I was 16. I'm yeah. 24 now so it's been a very long time and i've never mm. had it prescribed for this long like that's yeah. ridiculous what's the longest you ever had it prescribed like six months maybe i think three that's weird like, that your levels were good though because you i know went, that's like, what he said i know i told him he's like your levels were good actually he's like how long were you without them when you got your levels taken i was like like two three months i mm -hmm. thought they were gonna be low and then he was like what did you go into the er for i was like yeah i've been in and out of the hospital like so many times for the past couple months for when it was like something with like my, my pelvis and like the cyst on my ovaries and then multiple times it's been because my anxiety like I was having a panic attack and he was like wow really he's like see you need to talk to me about these things he's like I'm your doctor you need to talk to me about this he's like how long I'm like my whole life he's like okay so like how bad is it and this is how it is every night I can't fall asleep I have really bad anxiety especially at night time he's like oh so this is like something that really disrupts your life I was like yes <laughs> like it really does he was like okay like we're just talking about it he prescribed me an anxiety medication too oh for real he said what's good about this is that it's an anxiety medication the side effect of it is that it also helps with sleep it's for anxiety but it knocks you out too right six weeks he wants me to come back for a follow-up so we can see like how i'm doing with the new medicine mm -hmm. and i scheduled my pap smear because he said i need one yeah yeah and i yeah. never got one and i was like i'm so yeah. scared i was like i heard so many horror stories he's like you always hear about car accidents but you never hear about everybody who got to their destination right now that's a fact <laughs> sounds like he took care of a lot yeah he was very nice now i feel bad i was saying i was gonna beat him up what <laughs> I've never had a good experience. W like doctor, this. W doctor, W doctor. We're about to go get breakfast. Yes, let's go. Thirsty. Hello. First, what are you getting? I don't know. Loki, I might just get a waffle. I mean, an omelet. <laughs> Loki, I might just get an omelet. Oh, I'm omelet too, maybe. What's your food, baby? Delicious. So, wow, that's good. <laughs> we just been in here dying and laughing. The delirium set in. We're feeling it. Like, you know when you don't get sleep and you just act like crazy, like out of your head? It's so strange. I think we're about to get ready in here. We're already eight no, in it. Oh, yeah, we gotta go to the mall. Y'all think he's gonna stay up for the movie? Mm -hmm. Let me know. Don't zoom in on I me. I think I am. I'm not playing with you. I think I am gonna stay up. It shouldn't be too hard. You don't understand. It's not funny. What's different and what do I not understand? I'm Why? tired. I don't want to explain it and I don't have time to explain to stupid people. I'm sorry. Say it back. I'm sorry. I'm about to say it. I'm really about to say it. I have a big forehead. Yeah, I know you're zooming into my forehead. I know that's what you're doing. Piece of crap. I was just about to say this is why you should never date a girl with a big forehead. She got yeah. a lot of room in there to think. I guess with that 
this that was coming. Yeah, I literally just said that I want to get like a forehead reduction or like a scalp reduction or a bone reduction. I don't know what it is that makes my head so big. Because he literally makes fun of me every single day. I think he's cute. And when I have my hair like pulled back like this, I feel like it makes my head look even more round and big. Like you like to say it looks like a light bulb. I say you're my pretty little light bulb. Listen, baby. We don't never got to worry about not having a spark. <laughs> you better write that thing, though. You weird, bro. I used to do that when I was little. Like, I would stick my tongue out and write when I was little. I don't know why. It just helps me concentrate. Just focusing. I don't know. I do math. What's the number? <laughs> She's so mean. <laughs> just stay away from big boys. You're so annoying. I'll be as a side. You actually don't got a big boy. Yes, I do. Bro. It's not that big. Get it's your just card. shiny. You oil it Get well. Get <laughs> Are we getting lit at 9.43 in the morning? Hey, Yo, that's not funny. Man, shut up. So now I'm just mad again. The mall's closed. It's literally 9.46 a.m. I feel like everything should be open at this time. Like, what the freak? So I just like, you're me because now we have nothing to do. Our plans are ruined. If we go home, I'm going to knock out and yeah, I'm not waking up. The one day I wake up early. Not wake up because I didn't even wake up. <laughs> we can't even do nothing because everything's closed. Like, what are all these people doing? I'm just tired. My eyes burn. You grumpy, so, baby? Low key. This is us running off no sleep, okay? This is the real, raw, unfiltered us right now. <laughs> this so. water is currently like 30 degrees. It is freezing right now. How would y'all feel if we did a whole video trying to stay in this pool as long as possible? Would you be down to do that, baby? It's cold. <laughs> Would you be down to do that? Not right now. Just in general. I guess. You gotta clean it out though. I think we should do a video of us trying to last in it. I could get used to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. It was a little fun vlog, right? So I'm about to go upstairs and edit it right now, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Anything you wanna say, baby? No. We love y'all. We out. Boy. Tired. Me. <laughs>